I wish to send a warm message of goodwill and Happy New Year greetings to my fellow Kenyans, wherever you may be in the country and beyond. As we say goodbye to the ending year, we are at the same time set to enter a most critical year in our country's history. For the new year, 2022 is yet another transitional year when the old regime must give way to a new one as is now the tradition in our evolving democracy. As we edge in towards the new year, it is useful to briefly recall where we have been before focusing on where we wish to go. The past two years, 2020 and 2021, have been most traumatic for Kenyans and indeed for the rest of the world. For us in Kenya, the pandemic only worsened an already staggering economy and an overloaded health sector. It intensified the already high cost of living, wrought on Kenyans by an unrelenting public debt burden due to the government's choice of costly loans. To honor its debt commitments, the government has had to impose a punitive taxation regime that has stifled the people's lives. It's been normalized over the last nine years. It is normal to talk about budgeted corruption by cartels. Annual reports from the Auditor General and Control of Budget bear horrid evidence how money meant to be stolen is specifically budgeted for as money to be stolen. The good news, however, is that the year 2022 can be the turning point in the country's history of political mischief, economic banditry, and cynical leadership. For a start, it must be the year when we as Kenyans rededicate ourselves to defeating all evil schemes that seek to overthrow electoral democracy. We must rise up to resist subversion of free, fair, and verifiable elections. Equally, we must guard jealously our freedom of association and our inalienable right to choose leaders without them being imposed upon us by no matter who. The time has come when we must go beyond the empty politicking that has gone on for the past four years. We must now seriously place raw emotions and unhelpful ethnic sentiments aside and stand with our country. In the new year, at whose threshold we are, I purpose to be on the presidential ballot paper as the person to lead the country out of both historical and resurgent political mischief and economic banditry and malaise. I will shortly be unveiling my agenda for the country under the ANC 2022 manifesto and under the clarion call of Uchumi Bora Napesa Mufukoni. It is an open secret that the health sector has taken a beating not just because of COVID, but poor planning and bad policies. In security, the lives of the people seem to mean nothing, as every day has become a normal killing day. In the labor sector, Kenyans have lost their sources of income and even lost confidence in themselves. It, also, it almost sounds hypocritical hypocritical to wish our long suffering people a happy and prosperous new year when most indicators are that 2022 will be another difficult year. 
Yet we must not lose hope, for sometimes hope is all there is to live for.